Removing Widowmaker Trees, William Hovey Smith, 2014. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and occasionally we have to remove some dangerous trees from our woods. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And what I'd like to talk to you about is removing Widowmakers. Widowmakers are used in the forestry industry to describe hung up branches like that one in various conditions and in various heights that can unexpectedly fall and injure or kill the unwary. Uh, this happens. Uh, an outdoorsman, Ben Lee, who made turkey calls and hunted throughout the southeast, was killed by a falling branch from a tree whilst hunting. Oh yeah, <laughs> this goes on. In the west where you have absolutely huge cedar trees uh, and one of these things dies, when you start sawing on this thing, you may have a slab of wood fall from 30 or 40 feet that weighs hundreds of pounds. Just zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
That is starting to look pretty ragged and jagged indeed. And I've about used up all my components here, and then we're going to proceed with bow fishing techniques and see if maybe we can finish it off with that, because we certainly have weakened it considerably. As you can see, we're entering in a new phase of the operation. And what we're going to do is put a bow fishing line over that limb and see if we can get some chain and rope on it and actually pull it down with the truck. So we're going to have a shot and see if we can get that done. With much more time and trouble than I want to tell you about, we have a chain on our Widowmaker up there, and also a chain attached to the truck. And we're about to see if we can make something happen. Well, we didn't make it that time. The rope failed. And we'll have to do a little better. So we'll come back and we'll try it again. After our failure with the rope last time, we're continuing with our strategy, but we're gonna change up a little bit. I'm gonna try to loop a chain actually around the suspended portion of the tree there. And to do this, I've taken a fairly heavy chain and I have taken two bolts and I have made a loop. So the idea is to shoot a line up, then use some slightly heavier cord to pull this chain over the limb, then pass the other end of the chain through the loop so I can cinch it up around the suspended limb and pull with nothing but chain. Because of the knots in my rope and the fact that they were getting jammed up in a fork, I could not actually get my rope and chain over the tree successfully, although I tried several times. We are going to change our ballistic tree trimming tools. Uh, this is an original musket, a uh, British pattern of 1841, and this happens to be an East India version, and it shoots a 75 caliber round ball. The tree at the trunk is not being held on by very much. Uh, perhaps a piece of solid wood more or less the size of a man's arm. It may well go through the tree, so I'm shooting it so that there's another tree behind it to catch the ball of the gun. I think our ballistic trimming has gotten about as far as it can go. I believe that I have pierced that tree from several different directions, and I think it's only the weight of the top of the tree that's keeping it in place on the stump. So we're going to see if we can get a line around it now and pull it down. I'm going to be using a cable rather than a chain, and I think I'll be able to get that one uh, actually around the tree. It has actually twisted a little bit uh, since last we saw. Well, the first couple of attempts have failed, so I'm now going to shoot from the ground. And what's important here is that you have your cord loose and it doesn't get tangled and it doesn't get caught up on any little branches or anything else. So we now have it actually tied to our orange cord so that'll give us a little more range. And 
That was a success. We are over the limb. And actually, we have the orange cord over the limb, too. So uh, both of those are good things. After several attempts, we finally have our cable over the suspended part of the tree. And I'm going to put a loop on this end by putting two cable clamps on here. Now, when you use cable clamps, the rule is you do not saddle the running horse. In short, the saddle part of the clamp goes on this side and the yoke or the cinch goes on the bottom. And that's how you tighten these things up together. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna hoist this further up. And then we're gonna run our cord through here and ultimately the cable. So we cinch this whole mess up against the suspended part of the tree. I'll have to cut the coating away from this part of the cable so I can put these on. At long last, we have our loop through our cable. So, now we can proceed to pull it up the tree. Okay. Got it. That's it, guys. Now that, I can put some pull on. Yep. In addition, I can put a chain on this end and that'll get me a little further away from this tree. So next move, we'll bring the truck down and see what it will do. Well, we've got the truck. We've got the chain attached to the truck, the cable attached to the chain, and the chain looped around the suspended part of the tree. So we're going to see if a good yank with a truck can actually bring it down. Well, as you saw and see, we have finally had success. And we did get our Widowmaker down. So uh, this is going to be quite a bit of chopping up and hauling, but at least I've got it down on the ground where I can work on it. Besides being the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, I'm also the author of Crossbow Hunting, Practical Bow Fishing, and Extreme Muzzle Loading, which are available as soft cover and e-books. I have an eight book ebook series out for 2013 14, including hunting with muzzle loading shotguns and smooth bore muskets. The bow fishing line throwing technique was successful, however, I was less pleased with the ballistic result at tree removal. Uh, yeah, if I'd had a heavier vehicle and a heavier chain, I think you could have just gone ahead and pulled it down. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time.